Okay, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, so we have decided to look at the aspect of IT, in particular the Victorian curriculum, define and decom decompose real world problems precisely, taking into account functional and non-functional requirements and including interviewing stakeholders to identify needs. We will not be interviewing stakeholders, however. Um, and we will also be looking at design the user experience of a digital system, evaluating alternative designs against criteria including functionality, accessibility, usability and aesthetics. So basically today we're going to do a 15 minute little activity that will be part of a whole lesson that we would look at social media as a whole. So we'll be evaluating so existing social media which we have some examples of for you later. And then from, so originally within the class we will have evaluated the current social media and looked at functionality, aesthetics, um, you know, all the different properties that they hold. Um, and then within this activity we'll actually be designing our own social media. So you won't need to actually create it or anything, you're just thinking of the concept. So we'll do rather the elements of Instagram, we'll say the elements of Snapchat, how it only lasts for a few seconds, or do you want your content to be available to everyone or only a few people? Sort of have it more reflect your life and what you would rather, like if you made one super social media account, what would it look like? that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Right, I might just introduce, we've just got a bit of a sort of chart here to look at. So basically it's got sort of just some main areas that you might want to look at. I'll pass that around once we start the activity. But so some things you might want to consider. So accessibility, how are you going to access it? Is it going to be on a phone, a tablet, smartphone, laptop, whatever. Um, Usernames or real names, how, how do you want to be able to identify yourself on the site? Um, public or private, friends, how's that all going to work? Um, in terms of content, do you want to be able to share audio, video, um, images or, or files? Um, how is it engaging for the user? So is it clear, concise and to the point? Um, aesthetically, how does it look? You know, does it differ from the designs we've got here? You know, is it something new? and functionality. So what's the features of it, what's the purpose of it, um, and how is it usable. So I'll put those ones out. And there's just some examples for you to look at. So you may decide that you, as a whole, prefer Facebook as a social media platform. However, there's some things within Facebook that you don't quite like or that you wish you could change. Say whether that's invitations to games that you don't like receiving or whether you just want to see things from people you like and you can create a list. Just, you can modify something that already exists, otherwise you're quite welcome to pull parts from all different social media platforms and build your own. Okay. Awesome. So we'll give you 10 minutes for that one and then we'll come back at the end of the 10 minutes and we'll uh, discuss. There's some pens there if you want to. So we're designing it now. Yes, yeah, you can do a little brainstorm if you wanted to have more. So just the ideas, you could do a list or you could just, um, I guess, start formatting like a little template. So my picture would go here and it would be private or this would go there. And yeah, just Nothing however you want to express yourself. Just sort of like a rough, rough sketch. Yeah, mind. whatever works for you. Whatever you think. Yeah, so maybe have a think about like what your favourite mode of social media is and why you like that mode and maybe that will help you understand. I don't really know how to... There is... You're not being judged whatsoever for your time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't really know how to do that. Because Adam, if you built your own social media, what do you think you would do? Um, I'd include probably aspects of video. But okay. I don't think I don't think there's much of a sort of you know one that just focuses on video. I mean, Snapchat's relatively short. Instagram's got short video. I'd probably take aspects of like Facebook live streaming and put that together. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Live streaming. Yeah, yeah. So some of the examples that we have are Pinterest, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I don't know how to do that. LinkedIn, although I was called LinkedIn. Yeah, that's alright. I'll, <laughs> I'll interpret that as a positive. I'm trying to look. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, so what we're hoping for is when we would do this class um, with our year nines that we would touch on the topics also of um, online safety and also security and looking at um, who can view what and whether we like that and what are the ramifications for yeah, other people's Yeah, social and ethical considerations. Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then we planned that at the end of this lesson, so after this 15 minute activity with the class hypothetically, we would be looking at um, critiquing each other's and deciding, not so sort of thinking responsibly how you can critique other students. So looking at using the correct language, not to insult people, but also offering a consideration as well as a compliment. Um, and just looking at other people's ideas and deciding if that's something we hadn't considered ourselves. What you going for there, Brian? Okay, so back when I was on a dating site, yeah. I decided that these, you need some sort of like review after the date. Uh, of like, to like judge or rate the person. Yeah, and like, okay. you know, even though like this, there was like lots of dates that I went on and the person was really awesome, yeah. which just like wasn't for me. But okay. there was like times where I'm like, well, I don't want to like, you know, make other people, you know, mm. you could have something nice to say about somebody. Yeah. Wasn't for me. Or if, else. yeah, or if they're just like horrible, <laughs> it's like a horrible human being. You can just be like, you know. So would your platform would be open for anyone to see? Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be like, um, because Tinder is like so popular, so it would be like the Tinder thing. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's such a great app. Um, but you'd also have to have some sort of like review, like as an administrator. Post. Because obviously people can like harass and you know say horrible things. True. But I like I would combine couch surfing because you know like couch surfing. They have like a um, like a way to review people, and you can give them bad reviews on couchsurfing. Yeah, um, most people don't. Like, unless it's like really horrible, and they're like, okay. You know, so, what extent can a bad review go to? Is it, can it be like, well, they smell, or does it have to be <laughs> physical <laughs> negative things? I don't know. Yeah. I'd be curious to know like at what point negative feedback became too personal. Too bad, yeah. yeah. Or like that line between negative feedback and sort of like defamatory comments. Yeah. It had to be like an ethical consideration. Like, exactly. You know, if yeah. someone, you draw the line. say you see someone and then you know, you know, you're not a fan of them and you want to spite them. Yeah. Leave them a bad review. Or if you're this person's ex. Yeah. And yeah, come exactly. Up, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> And I had that thought as well, but they must make it work on couch surfing somehow because yeah. those issues do come up um, there. The people basically treat couch surfing as a dating site. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's really okay. sometimes it's it's really awkward. Yeah. Um, but I've had like a friends that basically treated it as a dating site, and he would get bad reviews sometimes because of. The dating the, aspect. Yeah, like the way yeah, that you not approach so much it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was thinking of like combining those two things as like. Yeah, like a Google review. Yeah, because you kind of want to know what you're getting into when you go on the dates. Yes. Yeah. So obviously, like on Tinder, especially, you're just. You've got a picture in like a small room. Yes, so I'm no. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know anything about them. Yeah. Um, and if you have like their friends to like see like the friend reviews, even if it's just like a friend review. Like you can only put a review on if you're friends with them. Uh, yeah. But then why would you leave a bed if you were your friends or anything? Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't. See, and that's the thing about couch surfing as well. Because there's no real bad reviews, you can tell how what that person is like just from what people mm -hmm. wrote. They won't say bad things. They'll be like quiet and really pleasant. But you know that person is probably not very social. Yeah. Like it's like kind of like in between the lines. It's a tough one. Richard, what mm. were you thinking? For so I've got, um, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, like Instagram, so it's like a, 
it's basically like a stream of stuff. Yeah. But you, there's also like videos, it's basically very similar to Instagram, but you can't share or you do anything like that. Uh -huh. So it will be like an artist kind of thing, but you only get popular by just like how good your quality of like your work is rather than like having having it being shared and liked and like spread all around. Like so. Pinterest where you lose credibility yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. or authenticity oh, it's, for the work. It's not even, like there won't be like any points whatsoever. Like simply okay. it will just have your page and it will just have that and that's it. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not that creative. I, no, I, that's didn't, okay. I didn't know about couch surfing and dating before I came in. So. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> we all learned something new. Yeah. And what about yours? What were you thinking? Uh, yeah. It's like a mix of Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Okay. So, like, it's public, you have a username. Um, you can, like, post blog posts, like, writing, and then, like, hashtag it so other people can see it. But then you can also just have, like, GIFs or videos. Yeah. And, like, you can hash. If you don't want to hashtag, you have to, but the hashtag has, like, makes a trend, like, on Twitter. And then, like, other people can oh. comment or, like, yeah. See it and add to the like comments. It, yeah, it's like a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that would be cool. Yeah. And so, would you have friends or would everything be open to everyone? Everything would be open to everyone. Yeah. But like, you'd still have a username. So, if people, it's kind of like Pinterest as well. So, if you're looking up like dogs for like darts for days, like smoking or something. Yeah. And then, like, it would take you to all these different, like, I don't know, posts or like blogs, writing. It take you to or, similar posts or yeah. similar users? Or yeah, art. and then you could okay. like go from there. And so you'd have your own content on there as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you think you might handle the ethical consideration of just if there was someone harassing you or someone you didn't want to see your work, would you be able to block them, do you think? I guess or? you should be able to block them, yeah. Yeah. And I guess you'd also be able to like, I don't know, ask that, get the admin to like, stop them from searching or like stop them from finding you when they look up hashtags that you may have used. Yeah, yeah, okay, sounds really cool. I think one of the big things at the moment is sort of, you know, like user guidelines. So what sort of user guidelines would you want for your site? Sort of thing. Like there's yeah. big things about like, you know, Instagram taking down posts and stuff like that. Uh, so sort of like, like Facebook like and the free the nipple? Yeah, that type okay. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't have women's nipples on Facebook, but you can have men's nipples. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so what type of, you know, would you want it to be censored? Would you want it to be, say, family friendly? I mean, the dating site, obviously not. plus. But, um, yeah. with, the, with your other two social medias, like, what so, do you think? So, Richard, am I right in thinking yours is almost more of like a... A portfolio. It's yeah. It's, it's it'll be very simple like that. I don't know. The comments thing's really interesting because um, like there should be rules on commenting, but there's no there's no point like moderating the comments on just like art and stuff. Like mm. it's not. It's it's kind of hazy. I don't actually know what to do. Yeah. I mean, so if you had comments on there and you just had a group of people who decided that harass them by saying like your work is crap or mm. sort of yeah, yeah. trolling behavior would. Yeah, I guess what would you? It is. So I just ignore it. Like, it could be, know. yeah. It could be just like a matter of, so like on eBay when you write a review, um, if you put something like if you want to call it bad, they actually ask you to email the person first. Yeah. Yeah. First yeah exactly. Them. And then yeah. you you can after if it doesn't work out or whatever. Yeah, and, and I mean like similar to Expedia reviews, like they all have these little database that the review gets filtered through. Um, I'm not sure what the process is, whether they just search it for, um, like scan it for bad words mm. or whether someone actually sits at a desk and reads them all, I don't know, if oh, it's computerised. Probably, probably all automatic, they'd be able yeah. to pick out sort of, there'd be like certain buzzwords that yeah. come in there. Yeah. If you get like bad language that'll come up. Because so interestingly, yeah. yesterday I was looking at buying a pair of shoes. Yeah. And um, I just Googled, the, so Style Trade is the company, and I Googled the company, and in the Google reviews, this lady was really, really mad because she'd written a review about one of the shoes on the actual website, and they decided that it contained um, bad <coughs> material. But she said it contained no bad material. It just said that the shoes were not comfortable whatsoever. <laughs> so you sort of have to decide. Yeah. Like, mm. yeah. Like what constitutes their material and stuff. Exactly, yeah. And then being in some way um, 
Oh, what would you call it? Like as a company, ethically clear enough that people can see that you're not just taking down anything that makes you look bad. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, weigh the weigh the criticism. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and take more of a positive spin from it. Yeah, yeah okay, cool. It's really interesting. Yeah. How are we going with time? I'm just gonna have a look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're right on fifteen. Beautiful. Thank you so much, guys. Right. Do you have any questions? I guess while we still got this going in terms of our lesson. No, I think that's really good. Was it an engaging activity? Did you say? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Once you got into it, it was really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It really opened up that discussion. I think. Yeah. 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 The discussion really pushes it because, like, then you think about like what you can add to yeah. your website while you have the discussion. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Cool. Thank, thank you. Awesome. Thank you.